a domestic violence restraining order can be filed uh, without your knowledge. What this means for most men is there's going to be a period of time where you are not going to be able to see your kids. You may be abruptly kicked out of your house. You may have to abruptly turn over property such as cars. What's going on guys? My name's Mark Real Jr., the Father's Rights Attorney, and I'm the founder and CEO of Real Father's Rights. Today, you're watching lesson number one in our Domestic Violence and Family Courts Masterclass. So domestic violence is a very, very serious issue in this country that affects millions of people, both men and women. But what we wanna focus on today is its impact and how it's used as a weapon against men so that you can be prepared whether you think a restraining order is coming or you have been served with that temporary restraining order. So number one, understand that the bar to get this temporary restraining order granted, if you've been served with that temporary restraining order, the bar is extremely low. They filed it without your knowledge, it went in front of the judge, and the judge looked at it and said, if I take all of her facts as truth, would I grant a restraining order? If the answer is yes, they grant the TRO. If the answer is no, they deny it and set it for hearing. Now, why is this important and why can this be stressful? If the judge grants the TRO, the biggest mistake men make is they immediately go out and violate that TRO. So I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you in this lesson number one that the number one rule involving restraining orders in California is don't violate the temporary restraining order. Now, once you've been served with the temporary restraining order, you're probably two to three weeks away from a hearing. And this may be challenging. You may have been kicked out of your house. You may not be able to see your kids. You may be forced to turn over property. There are any number of factors that could make this extremely stressful, but you have to understand that you're going to get your day in court. Why is it important and why are, why are fighting these allegations, many times false allegations, so important? A lot of times in the state of California, domestic violence restraining order requests are used as leverage for custody. And why is this? Under Family Code Section 3044, it says that if an individual is found to have committed domestic violence within the past five years, then it is presumed they should not have any legal or physical custody. That means if, if a restraining order is granted against you, you won't have legal or physical custody for a period of five years. You'll be stuck with visitation, and most likely that visitation to begin with will be supervised. Also, this is the fastest moving process in California family courts. A temporary restraining order is granted without you knowing, and your hearing, your trial, is only weeks away. And so you must act quickly. If you've been served with those restraining order papers and you're trying to figure out what to do, number one, don't violate that TRO, and number two, you need to find the attorney that's going to fight for you and get these allegations and get this restraining order request dismissed. Over the next couple lessons, we're gonna go into the details of the process, what should be done, what could be done, and how you can best protect yourself once you have been served or you feel like a restraining order may be coming. 